long shot is an attacking cross bat shot played to a short delivery in and around leg stump. Against the quicker bowling, you haven't got a huge amount of time to get into position, so the game is developed in a sense where we play what we call the pivot pull, and the back foot turns to allow the hips to turn to create a quick and powerful back path through the ball. Having judged the length of the ball, the dip of the front shoulder takes the hands and the bat high, the back foot goes back into line, and we then bring the front foot back almost as a counterbalance as the shoulders horizontally rotate and the hands come high to low, punching down through the ball. I try and keep my head as still as I possibly can on contact. I don't look where the ball's going. I make sure it's onto the bat. But it's being hit square or just in front of square on the leg side. A good way for a young player to learn to play the pull shot is to start square on to the feeder. Hands high and the bat high and getting the idea of the high to low bat path through the ball and connecting at full arm's width. Head remains forward and we're focusing on the ball all the way to contact and we're going to be hitting square or just in front of square on the leg side. Good. Once you've got the idea of hitting high to low, good contact, we move from a square on position into a side on position. It's a side on game. When we're doing this with this drill, we're now looking, hands are high, front shoulder is dipped and head is slightly forward, and as the back comes down, the front foot almost becomes a, a counterbalance as the back comes through. We're punching with the back arm, so the bottom hand just creates that little bit of power. So we don't need a huge follow through with the shot. Again, this is more against the quicker bowlers. A natural progression once we've got used to hitting it from a side on finishing position is to do rapid fire. Balls come in quick, quick succession and I'm looking to get hands quickly through. Reactions are getting better getting muscle memory and my hands are really accelerating through the ball. It's important when you're doing rapid fire that you don't let technique go. It's one thing to do it quickly and to really test yourself, but it's another thing. You don't want to undermine the technique you've been working on. What we're going to do now, we're going to progress to an overarm feed and I'm going to go back to my stance position.